So Casey enjoyed early this week. I did. Neil's now going to enjoy the go. rest of this week. There we go. We do have the first week, the first day of high school football playoffs. That's right, Garrett, right? That's playoffs? Were we talking about playoffs? Always about the playoffs. All right. So Beckville against uh, Alba Golden. This gets kicked off at 730. Christmas Trinity Mother Francis Rose Stadium there. Temperatures at around 60 at kickoff and then halftime. The drive home temperatures slowly falling and we will see a steady rain as well. Vider versus Lindale. That's correct, Neil, right? Vider. You're, you're from Beaumont. Vider. Temperatures in the 60s. This one played at a neutral location there in Nashville. Nacogdoches. We will also see rain for that one. And speaking of rain, it is raining in Tyler right now. Look at this. Some rainfall there atop the Plaza Tower brought to you by Tyler Neurosurgical and Associates. And this is the culprit. We do have this front that continues to move to the southeast with the disturbance aloft, and that continues to bring some rain into East Texas. So let me zoom in. You can see widespread rain right now to the northeast. That's where we've seen some of the heaviest rain so far, mainly to the east of Highway 59. However, it has decreased in intensity over the last hour or so Smith County rains pretty steady. There's nothing too heavy about it. You can see in central Smith County some heavier showers and then as we look to the south Nacogdoches, southern Cherokee, Angelina County, the radar is starting to fill in there. The heaviest rain occurring near Alto. There are along highway 69 and to the west in Houston County. Now with the cold front, not only comes the rain, but the cooler temperatures. Temperatures have fallen into the 50s to the north and we're slowly falling further to the southeast. Even Lufkin and Nacogdoches and center those winds have now shifted and we're starting to see those temperatures follow suit and fall and they will eventually fall into the 60s as the night progresses. All right, we'll start it from right now. Front continues to move to the southeast. That brings in more areas of rainfall. Some of this rain could be heavy at times and we'll see those chilly conditions settle in as well. Seven o'clock tomorrow morning. Still some rain in deep east Texas tapering off to the north and to the west. I do think tomorrow night night. Most of us should remain dry most of the time, but I can't rule out an isolated shower through eight o'clock and then more clouds move in as another disturbance begins to move and move through South Texas early Saturday morning. We're talking about one to two inches of rain here, especially for our central and northern counties. Deep East Texas will cash in as well, and we really need to see the rain there. So some good news on the way. There are the next seven days. Rain chances through the middle part of tomorrow morning. Most of tomorrow afternoon will remain dry, but temperatures don't budge. We go from 53 tonight to 54 tomorrow afternoon. We're at 56 Saturday, 60 Sunday, Monday, Tuesday and Wednesday. We hit 70 on Thursday. Deep East Texas rain chances are a little higher, especially on Saturday, so we'll be keeping an eye on that. Highs in the 60s Sunday, Monday and Tuesday back to the 70s by next Thursday. Neil Casey. Well, there you go in.